The seventh parliament officially wrapped up business on Friday last week after a four-year term. Despite polls to elect new lawmakers being at least one month away, there is no vacuum to necessitate the president governing by decree. There is no power vacuum. There is no power vacuum. Because what the president has been doing is not what parliament has been doing. The, 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 the two are separate. That is why we talk about uh, three arms of government, separate but interdependent of each other. So, so the president, uh, obviously, said for, for signing the laws which are coming from parliament, never really uh, took over what parliament uh, uh, did. The minister says cabinet is still intact and would continue in its role of advising the president until a new government has been elected. Elections have been set for July 31st by President Mugabe. However, his coalition government partners have challenged that date in the Constitutional Court. The court is due to sit this week to make a ruling on whether to grant a two-week extension to the poll date. Without wishing to preempt that ruling, the minister pointed out that the sitting of the nomination court last week was likely to sway the constitutional court to stick to its original July 31 election date. The nomination court sat last week to approve candidates at the presidential, parliamentary and municipal elections level. That process pretty much seen as setting the election in motion and making it irreversible. Farai Mwakutuya, CCTV, Harare. Zimbabwe.